Hey everyone, it's Tara. Welcome back to my channel. Today I thought it would be fun to do another Five on Friday video. It's been, I don't even know when my last Five on Friday video was. It's been that long, but I figured now it is March, which means it is March Mystery Madness and cozy mysteries are some of my favorite things to read. So I wanted to do a Five on Friday about cozy mysteries. So today's video is going to be five cozy series that I would like to start this year. Um, now, I before I can start any more cozy series, <laughs> I need to finish the ones that I'm currently reading, which actually isn't too many because I'm current in a lot of them. I'm current in Hannah Swinson. I don't know if there's going to be more. I'm assuming so, but I'm current in Hannah Swinson. I'm current in the Sloan Krauss. There is a new book coming out in like a couple of weeks, but I'm current in Sloan Krauss as of right now. I'm current in the Bake Shop Mystery Series as of right now. Um, I have one book left in the Literary Pub Series, which Rainy, we need to read that. So... If you don't have it by your birthday, don't be surprised if it shows up on your doorstep so that we can buddy read it. <laughs> um, um, so there's one, one book left on that. Um, so the main series that I'm like in the middle of are the Port Danby series, which I just read book 14 and I don't think there's too many more after that. And then um, Firefly Junction also by London love it every other like cozy series I'm not like super I've read like one or maybe two books in so I'm not like tied and I'm not tied to like carrying on in any of them particularly so that's that that was a long intro of talking about all the cozy mysteries that I'm in the middle of but I have five cozy mystery series and these are all books where I own at least the first one in most of them, I own at least a couple. There's only one that I only own the first book. Um, but yeah, so I wanted to share these with you. If you've read any of these series, please let me know down below um, if you think I should read them sooner than others. So let's hop into it. Um, and these are in no particular, I, guess, I shouldn't say they're in no particular order. They are in a particular order, which is by size. <laughs> um, but like, one doesn't take like precedent like isn't like more like urgent to me than the other so first up is um the cozy capers book group series by maddie day so the first book is murder on cape cod i have books one two and like four i think um and really i don't the i don't know a lot about most of these but they've captured my attention. This one captured my attention because it takes place in Cape Cod, which is not that far away from me. So it has like a, what I'm hoping is like a fun, like New England feel. Um, so this one takes place in the summer. She owns the main, um, like the main sleuth McKinsey owns a bike shop. Um, <laughs> It's really funny. It says Max or McKinsey's only experience with murder investigations is limited to the cozy mysteries she reads with her local group book group. Um, yeah, I feel like I could probably <laughs> like I feel like I would think that I know how to solve a murder murder because of all of the cozy mysteries that I read. So anyways, so this has captured my attention mostly because of where it's set. So yeah, series number one. Series number two, um, I must, I don't know if this is considered a cozy. It's always like shelved with the cozies though. Um, and that is the number one ladies detective agency by Alexander McCall Smith. There's a shiz ton in this series. I own, I don't even know, like one, like books one through like seven or something, but I think I'm missing like number four or something like that. Um, so this is, I mean, about a ladies detective agency. So in this one, you follow Precious Ramitsway, Ramitsway, 
who was drawn to her profession to help people with the problems in their lives. Um, so this really, like, I'm pretty sure these are set. Are they set in Africa? I want to say they are. Um, yeah, set in Africa, which is really cool. You know, so many of the cozy mysteries that I read are just set in like a small town USA. So I like that it's set in Africa. Um, I'm not going to lie. The main reason that I bought these is my <laughs> used bookstore was doing like a bag of book sale. And I was like, oh my gosh, it's like the complete series. I can like dive in. And that's why I got them. Um, and you know, like you don't really have to sell me too hard on a mystery series. So, but a cool setting. Um, there's a lot of them, which, you know, when I want to like binge something, that's nice. So yeah, there's this one. Then X, I don't even know what I was about to just say. Up next is a book that has been on a series that has been on a TBR a time or two. And that is this lovely book that John got me um, a few, a couple Mother's Days ago, which is um, this, the first book is Murder in G Major by Alexia Gordon, but it's the Gethsemane Brown mystery series. I don't know why I haven't read it this yet. There's literally no reason not to why I have not. Like this is like right up my alley. It involves music. It's set in Ireland and there's a ghost. Like why have I not read this? I don't know. Um, I do only own the first one of this, which isn't a problem. That's what Amazon's for. Um, but like, come on music. She's a music teacher. Um, she, like I said, set in Ireland and there's a ghost. The ghost of the cottage's murdered owner haunts the place. I'm, I love ghosty things. Like, I don't know. I don't know what's going on with me, but I will read this this year if it's the last thing I do. Um, then we have the Wine Country Mystery Series by Ellen Crosby. Book one is The Merlot Murders. This is another one that, okay, first of all, it's wine. Like, I love wine. This is another one that, like, I had this on my radar because it's about like wine country. And then I was at my used bookstore and I found like a bunch of them. And I was like, well, it's meant to be. And I picked them all up. Um, so I know this is about like the main protagonist, Lucy, her family like owns like a vineyard or a winery or something along those lines. Um, yeah family's 500 acre Virginia vineyard. So like so she has to go back home to like help um, the family with that. Um, and so that's kind of where book one picks up. So um, wine, vineyard, you don't really have to sell me much more than that on this. Um, and then the next one is, <laughs> I have this like bind up of three and like, <laughs> I'm not thrilled with what they decided <laughs> to call this bind up. I just think they probably could have chosen a less, um, a word that doesn't have the innuendo that it does, but <laughs> you'll see in a second. Um, and that is the Royal Spinus series by Reese Bowen, Rice, Reese, Rice, I don't know, Bowen. But they chose to call this bind up a Royal Threesome. I'll just leave it at that. I think they could have chosen some other things to call it. But book one is Her Royal Spinus. Then you have a Royal Pain and Royal Flush. Um, this, I want to say I got on Book Outlet. I've heard things about this. I don't know a ton about like what the series is about. You're following Georgie. Her, so the some okay. Um... Featuring the elegant, titled, and stony broke sleuth lady Georgiana Ran Ronick? Ron Ronach? I don't know. Um, Georgie is forced to earn her keep as a housekeeper in London when the queen summons her to spy on the playboy prince. But when a Frenchman winds up dead in Georgie's bathtub, it's her job to clear her very long family name. So, I like, like, don't get me wrong. I love cozies, like the standard cozies set in small town USA following, you know, some, like, 
typically female protagonist. Like, I love that. But I also love the cozies, similar to um, the Alexander McCall Smith series, where it's, like, set in, like, a different place or a different time. And this one, set in a different time and place, it, it, it struck a chord with me. So I don't know exactly when. I'm assuming early 1900s because there is a car on the front of this, so it can't be, like, super, super in the past. But... I think it'd be fun to give it a try. So I have the first three books all in one handy bind up. Um, so yeah, those are five cozy series that I would love to start and make some progress in this year. So have you read any of these? Let me know. Um, I know that some of them have been read by people that I followed before, um, but some of them I don't think I've ever heard anyone else talk about. So let me know your thoughts. Let me know if you haven't read any of these, but you would like to. Let me know if you want to buddy read them, because that would give me some added incentive to read these and read books that are on my shelf, because I own all of them. <laughs> and that's one of my goals for this year. So that is it for now. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time, happy reading. Bye!